All right, Shalom. Call Kahalom, like Yahweh Bosh, from Yahweh Shadwa, Yahweh Kakudash. That's all praises to the Most High, who people know as God, Yahweh, whose true name is Yahweh in the ancient Hebrew tongue. In the name of his son, Yahweh Shai, who people call Jesus. Wah being and the, uh, Ha being the, Shum being name, or I should just say uh, Waha being and the, and then Kodash being holy and Raka being spirit. So, peace and blessings to everybody awakening, you know. And believing in the, the Savior of Israel, what he did for us. Uh, to get us to this, to this point, you know, and help, help us get through the end. But anyway, getting into this, 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 this lesson that I want to go into before I actually uh, uh, get into that specifically, uh, let me just say this. It's a, it's a scripture I want to get into because, um, which is here, let me grab it, which is right here, all right? And the reason I want to get this, this scripture is because it talks about, it's basically to help lay the tape and the reasoning. To where you can better see or receive what's being said. And that scripture, and that's gonna be through the scripture that's Sirach 39 and 1, because it goes into how you pretty gonna pretty much have men that's are said to that are said to be being occupied in the in the prophecy prophecies. You know, like the men of old, you you know, pretty much meaning seeing how things are going to play out seeing seeing what's going to be what what's uh uh the events going to be that that's going to be used uh the end all be all you know the particular events again that's going to be used to help the end all be all be you know uh manifest and that's in particular and one of those things, the end all be all, or the aspect of the end all be all, the end all be all that I'm focusing on, that we all want to focus on, is how the righteous are gonna be saved. How the 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 Israelites, the elect, are gonna come out on top, right? So you got scriptures that point to that. So again, when you read Psalm 39. And one, it tells you that. So I'll read it. It says, "But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High." And is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Why? Again, because it's going to show you what's going to be what. What are these prophecies? How are these things going to be? How the elect, are, uh, how the elect is going to be saved? What's going to be the events to be used? Like, you know, how much detail is given on it? <laughs> you know. Finding out about these things so, you know, you can see where, you know, you can basically see everything playing out. See where you are on the, you know, by examining yourself, you know, seeing where you at on, on, on the two sides of the coin. Because either going one way for an individual or the other way for the individual, you know, period. <laughs> we either out of here or we still here, you know. You know what both sides deal with. Either being saved or destroyed, if you will. But nonetheless, getting into this. So, <laughs> the particular prophecy that we're going to get into is, uh, obviously, the elect being saved, but the event of the elect, the Israelites, Going through that election process, hence being called, because it's a it's a misnomer. On it could be a mis mis it could be a misunderstanding on 
the election through one believing that you know since you know the Lord's name you know you you you're teaching you 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 you're you at home making dresses cooking you praying they don't, it's not going down like that and I can get one scripture to kick 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 that off matter of fact me grab it Luke 21 and verse 35 I'm gonna start at it says for as a snare shall it come on all them and that snare deals with you know pretty much you know the way you think of a snare which is to allude to being surprised being surprised right so for as a snare shall it come upon shall it come on all them that dwell on the face of the earth why because they thought it was one way they mistook one thing for being something else they thought it was one way that it really wasn't it was a misinterpreting you know of a lot of things you know as we see now man and you can actually go into that word and it'll show you that actually get it real quick before I move on to the point because in 36 you get that word snare Strong's G 3803 Pagis Pagis it says what of snares in which birds are entangled and caught implies see implies unexpectedly suddenly that's it of a sudden and unexpected deadly peril because you thought it was one you know something that uh it wasn't you know you mistook the 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 good that that was around you know here and there for something implying everything's all good Everything is to be interpreted like that. You know. If you will, this is an example. Alright. Now when you go to the Strong's definition, it says a trick or stratagem. And I had to re-record this part because somehow it uh I didn't hit the hitting I ended up hitting the button twice. But anyway, it says a trick or stratagem. Now when you get this word stratagem. Let's get that word stratagem right here. Stratagem. A plan or scheme, especially one used to outwit an opponent or achieve an end. Now you go into the basically that word just implies what? Uh trickery. You know? Trickery, uh, deception, deceive. You see the synonyms. Uh double dilly. So people basically people is gonna come upon people gonna people gonna be in a situation where they 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 uh are gonna have the outlook or the perspective when something else happens that they uh they pick up on that there was double dealing going on. Well, I thought you said it was no. Nah, that's the misinterpreting, and that's the point of understanding. The event of the election, the event that is going to manifest the elect, the event of the process of the election, those is going to be chosen, which will start by them being called first. Those will be called first, but we'll get there. So we move on to the, 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 the point verse 26 watch ye therefore I'm gonna read it again yeah watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy watch ye therefore 
seeing that this is the this this the situation we in. You know, take heed how you hear. You know, bless started. You know the eyes. Bless is he that read and hear it. Bless are your eyes for they see and your ears for they hear. It goes on. It says, "Watch ye therefore and pray, and pray." See that always that ye may be accounted worthy, that ye may be accounted, that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass. That shall come to pass and to stand before the son of man. So you got not just doing the work. You got to be found worthy. You not just bringing forth the fruits, but being but fruits meat. Fruits that the 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 the, labor, the husband man is going to want to pick out. You know, but we'll get into that. So it's, it's not just about watching. It's not just about praying. It don't just come down to that. It's not. It's not. It doesn't come down to our works. It's, it's praying that you 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 will be deemed worthy. You're gonna have the works worthy. Cause you, we we been we're being we're being in a uh, a process of being we're being put in a process of being picked chosen. And you have an array of people that's chosen. So I I will liken this, which is going to the lesson now. Uh, to being nominated or like an award show for example right you being called leads to you being chosen right in order for you to be chosen you have to be called first you have to be of those that are you have to be other things you know of the array of th of that one thing that's g gonna be chosen from right. So the Lord won't. Um, if the Lord said He's choosing, you know, red grapes, you got to be of a red grape first in order to even get to that point. You you know He's not choosing green grapes. So you have to fit the criteria. But like I said, going into the, the, the example, which is the lesson, your calling, right, will be likened unto being nominated. So you have, let's say, a bunch of art. You got a bunch of artists, right? The award show deals with people of certain groups being awarded for certain things. You know, certain uh, uh, which is uh, singling that down to people who met the criteria of a category, fit best fit the criteria of a, of whatever category they want to give an award for. So you got people that do R and B, for example. <laughs> so they want to give out a, 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 a you know, you can get an award for that, but specifically. Best R and B album. So you not only have to write, do R and B. You have to make a, a R and B album. It has to be a good one. It has to be one, first and foremost. That's a good one. But starting there, make R and B R and B album. Now, out of you got tons of people that do R and B, but everybody ain't drop an album. So those that did, you're gonna have those that's of R and B that's chosen for that's 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 sought out. You got all the R and B artists and then they're looking for to 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 cause the when you deal with nominations, you got multiple people that's basically called, right? That's picked, that's 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 hand picked just to be selected. That's gonna help make up this category for best R and B album. So they're gonna go to the R and B artists and they're gonna pull out from those that make R and B albums. And then from there, right, those people are what? Nominated. That's picked. And you got an array of those people that's going to what? Uh, R&B album. But nonetheless, you're going to have a person that gets picked out of that, man. That's just that simple. You can do it with an art, a rap an example. Best rapper. Rest, rap album. Uh, whatever. You get, you get the award for that. But you first got to do rap and then what? Do a, a, war, a, a, rap, a, a rap album. It's that simple. 
The Lord is picking out of Israel. If Israel, if salvation is for the Israelites, right? Period. All by way of the Israelites. Period. Salvation being of the Jews, period. Yahweh was a Jew, Israelite, period. If salvation is going to be given to, the, to, the, to those people, the Lord is going among that group first. So he's calling Israelites that's, that's going to be, you know, considered for being picked because he's not all in our Israel. <laughs> So he's going to pull from those, and then from those, you got those that's called, hence been nominated for salvation. And then out of that array of people that's been called, right, hence those that's been nominated, they're going to what? Like a art, like a award show. They're going to be picked. The one that will be picked is the one that best fits the criteria. That's most meat. So that's an example. All right. So that's basically it. So when you read 35 again, for as a snare shall it come upon all of them, come on all of them that dwell of the face of the earth. Watch ye therefore and pray always and that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all these things that shall come to pass and to stand before the Son of Man. So yeah, that's basically that, man. All right. So it 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 is it, is is clear what's being laid out here. But it's if 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 you go on to be shocked, you would be you would fall under those that would uh be snared, caught in a snare. You'd be surprised, unexpected. Feel like double dealing with them, because you was caught. Your call was not you being chosen, which we gonna ahead, we're gonna go ahead and get into. It was basically like an unto you, if you will, uh being nominated and we're going to get into that word and etc so let's go ahead and go into this, this example a little bit more so like when you come here so like it how does the in in me nominating and voting right before people or shows can be nominated for an enemy they have to be submitted for consideration see for consideration last year the television Received more than 9,100 entries for 124 categories. We can get that. Well, we can get this nomination round voting. After the submission process, after the submission process, every one of the Academy's 25,000 plus members, except those who are inactive, cast votes in the program categories. You know, but that's not even the one I wanted. Uh, let's see. The process of nominating selected candidates for an award or bestowing a specific award through multiple tasks and responsibility, the process covers two major steps, nominee outreach and the collection of applications. Okay, this is a good one. So let's just say like this, right? The corruptible, corruptible crown like a, that people chase after, chase after. Uh, well, we are incorruptible. You know, a corruptible being like hence the Oscars. The incorruptible being what? The, you know, the kingdom, man. The full, the, you know, the uh, the full assurance, the full reward. You know, but anyway, how are the Oscars winners decided? Here's how the voting process works. Just to give it, because this is the example I'm using, right? So, <clears throat> it says, the road to an Oscar win, winds or wins winds through a long awards season, which finally, finally culminates Sunday. We'll take you through the process of getting that golden statue into a winner's hands. This is how Oscar voting works. Who for votes on the Oscars? Now, obviously, this is not the Oscars, but this is just to give an example to get through what I'm trying to say, right? So who votes on the Oscars? <laughs> It says the motion, the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences boasts some 10,000 plus members dividing among 17 branches. That's brutal. So it says all Academy is on the left hand side, but it says all Academy members have to be involved in the movie business. You know, like the scriptures say, the spiritual man judges all things, comparing spiritual with spiritual. 
right? It says in the movie business in some ca ca uh, capacity. So people that's the the individual the entities that's going to be dealing with uh, 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 voting for us is those that's of the matter, right? They're of the situation. They're of holiness because we've been called unto holiness, right? So they have they can they have say to say who's holy, who's clean. Start with the heavenly Father Himself, Yahweh Shah, who's gonna confess Your name before all. Then the angels who don't bring railing accusation, right? And then you even got others, because remember, like uh, Abel, his prayer went up to to the Lord as a witness, because remember we the Lord's witnesses. See that. So you gotta be you 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 gotta be careful. Like look at the matter of two or three witnesses, man was able to be put to death. The Lord allowed that through individuals, uh uh uh, who was of, you know, if you will, this academy, you know. But anyway, man, it says, or this business, right? So membership isn't restricted to creatives. There are branches for executives and marketing and public relations professionals as well. While nominations are mostly decided by members of the relevant branch, but directors nominate directors, for instance, right? All voting members can can nominate films for best picture. Once nominees are decided, right? Once nominees are decided, all voting members are eligible to cast their ballots in a, in a category. So they're picking. The Dolores picking out of He's picking out of uh, 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 who's going to be nominated out of all Israelites. When you when you when you give in the word and you allowed to come in, you hence your call, right? You you was just before you even know you was already being searched through, through the whole you know through all, you know at different points, you know. Period. You was always in the business to begin with. And he and he calls you at this whatever man everybody get you know at different ages okay I'll, yeah you know like this spirit of, you know I think this could be that type stuff right and now we're basically like simultaneously going through that process but really more so the process of what voting. Um, also, you know, it's like back and forth because the, the, the nominees, the people being nominated is, is the constant pulling of those that's of, that was in the world, out of the world, you know, being of the world, lost in the world, you know, into the truth, which would be like in the, unto being nominated. Cause at that point you're called, you got nominated and this individual, same thing. Everybody don't get nominated, right? All that are of Israel are not Israel, right? So this is an example. This is just an example. Now, <clears throat> the the final part was would be that voting part would be what who they decide off what they're seeing, the fruits they seeing. Who's being vouched for? Who's the Holy Spirit vouching for? The, the angels, Yahweh Shah. Who's not denying His name? But that won't be to all the way into the end. So that's the key to understanding this. You know? So all voting members are eligible to cast their ballots into any category. It says, we're going to jump down. When does Oscar voting take place? Voting takes place over a few days. That's spiritual. See that? Not too long before the ceremony. In 2023, voting opened March 2nd and ended March 7th. That's even more spiritual. Five days. Right before the big night. See that? So it's it's a process. You know that Sprite Gizzle, that Sprite Gizzle is being uh 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 is going on right now on to his the seal, the seal is you know, the proving, the checking of the fruits, the proving of the fruits. And then at the end you get the Spragus. Once that's confirmed, once that's liked, wisdom is gonna go up there. And let the Lord know, you know, you know, if you will, which is who's your house, which your house has uh, been made unto us. So he's the one confessing. Right. As he said, he would with the angels. Now. 
that's basically that, man. You know, but see, it's a process. That's what we would be in. You know? And you can go read the rest of this yourself. Who knows the winners before they're announced? This is all spiritual, man. How are votes, votes cast? See, the nominee that gets the most votes win. You know? So forth and, you know, so on. Uh... To go on real quick. It says, according to the Academy website, just two Pricewaterhouse House Coopers partners know the results beforehand. Only the Lord knows if you elected, man. You know you are you who gonna win. You don't know that. So you gotta pray you worthy. All right, and we are gonna get the scriptures to prove all this. And this is the spirit. It says. Each partner is stationed in the Dolby Theater's wings during the ceremony with a full set of winners, winners' envelopes. They're charged with handing, they're charged with handing the sealed envelope to the winner. That's crazy. You can't make that up. That sounds like angels and so forth. So that's, yeah, that's just the example, right? So again, not to be too long, too long uh, winded. Uh, this is good, you know, just want to get every get the, get, get the visual. So this is why, again, Luke 21. And uh, matter of fact, let's go back here again. Sirach 39 and 1. But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out all the wisdom of all the ancient because you learn, okay, um, results is God. Good things come to those. Who understand these things that do these things? So you're gonna seek out the things that uh, the ancient were doing, <laughs> you know, whether it be good or bad. So you can have yourself on point and be occupied in prophecies, you know, because things happen upon what people ain't doing and are doing, you know. And then the prophecies give you, you know, an overview of what's to come. And like again, like I said, show you what side of the coin you on. But again, with all that being said, Luke 21 and 36, watch ye therefore and pray, right? People got, 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 it, got it mixed up, right? Let me just read 35 again. For as a snare, it shall, shall, let's start at 34. And take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting, right? And drunkenness and cares of this life. And so that day come upon you, right? Unawares, you know? When people uh, are in the process of basically being, you know, not picked because of what they weren't doing, what they weren't displaying, not chosen. And what's the proof of, you know, the, the, the what's going to be the event of that? You getting destroyed, you know? Knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We ain't ministering death, but we persuade men. We just, we're, we're occupying the prophecies. It says, in the cares of this life, and so that day come upon you unawares, upon you unawares, upon you unawares, and that's a lot of people. It says, for as a snare shall it come upon all them that dwell on the face of the earth, those that's not caught up in their work, their business, their craft, you know, showing forth. You want a, a reward of, 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 of a certain uh, industry, you know, serving the Lord, being holy. Of a certain caliber, you know, ruling over nations, having a rod of honor by iron, being of the elect, but you ain't bringing forth fruits to show you are of that. You deserve that. You're meat for that, right? Uh, 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 you match that. So watch ye, therefore. So you know. So for as a snare shall it come upon all them that dwell on the face of the earth, you will be of that if you not. Understand these things. So this is why we occupy a prophecy and meditating the law and, and you know in the ancient the things that our forefathers was doing. Like you know you know it says watch ye therefore and pray. You you gonna be occupied in the wisdom of Noah, Lot, Lot's wife, the other people that wasn't of Noah and the eight souls that was delivered, so forth, right? Uh the the the, uh, the, the Israelites in the wilderness. 
know what I'm saying? Leaving Egypt, coming out of Egypt, you know? On their way to the promised land. But it says, watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape all things that shall come to pass. And to stand before the Son of Man. You know? So that's that, man. So go ahead and jumping into this now. <laughs> First Thessalonians 1 and 4. No, brethren, this, le this lesson again. You're called. Right? You are, you are called, like and unto being nominated. You haven't been chosen yet. Right? You've been, if you if you want to be technical and argue that you've been chosen, right, to possibly be truly chosen. You know? But I wouldn't even use that word because that confuses it. You're going to find out this word election and chosen. It's two different words for them. Right? Which we'll get to in just a second, right? It's a different word for this word chosen right here than it is for this word election, right? And this could correct some things I've said before in the past, you know, through the spirit and humbleness, um, you know, and that's it, you know? You are in line. You know you are in line. You know you are in line. You you you've been called to be chosen. You know, but you ain't chosen. So let's start at verse one. First Thessalonians one and one. Paul and Sylv and, Sylv and Sylvanus and Timotheus unto the church of the Thessalonians, which is in God the Father and in the Lord Yahushua Hamashiach. Grace be unto you and peace. From God our Father and the Lord Yahusha Mashiach. Right? We see his Lord Jesus Christ. His name is Yahweh. Right? We give thanks to God for always, for your all, for you all, making mention of you in our prayers. Remembering without ceasing your work of faith. See that? Individuals that's not ceasing, that's not ceasing to bring forth. They putting, they pumping out so much work, you know what I'm saying? So much, uh, so many fruits. And I'll just use the word work to, to continue the, 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 the theme of the example. You know, constantly putting out films, you know, these, 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 these uh, albums. You know, the, of the new song, if you will, right? It says, ceasing your work of faith. Never remembering without ceasing your work of faith, your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope and patience of hope. Right. In our Lord, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, in the sight of God and our Father, knowing, knowing, beloved brethren, beloved, your election of God. See, knowing your election of God. Now, when you get that word election. Cloge. Strong's G fifteen eighty nine. The act of picking out choosing. This is another word for what? Basically being selected. Right? Which we gonna gonna break it down. We got election. Election. Okay. Election. So when you go here, I'm doing it like this for a reason. When you look picked. Sending them. Selection. Said, Selection. It says the action or fact of carefully choosing someone who or something, and I just get this one because it's, it's just easier to be understood, right? It's a synonym. It says or something as being the best or most suitable. See, it's is 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 certain. The Lord is not even going to pick certain spirits. That's why you got certain people that won't even. They never even had the chance to like, you know come into this like your your Tupac's and your Dr. King's or whoever right you know let's just give like the worst example because of their spirit you know because we're going to get into it many not all many key word many not all was said not all was not said many was 
Again, not all. So the Lord was only picking, you know, from certain Israelites to begin with. Picking certain of the Israelites, if you will, to begin with. When you go into this word selection, a number of things, a number of carefully chosen things, a range of things from which a choice, see, from which a choice may be made. Like, hence, you're getting a bunch of people that make movies, films, sing a new song, R&B, album, rap, or whatever you want to like use, right? And, and dropping albums. You only picking, right? Out of those, you know, so many out of those, and from those that that you that would uh, comprise of a number of people you picked, of people that's doing that, you have a range, and from that right there, those ones would be nominated, right? That group, but from those right there, you picking, uh, the choice is gonna be made. Who's gonna actually be a chosen? Who's gonna get? Who the reward is gonna be given to? Right now, since that was said, we're gonna get the word what nominate. See that nominate. It nominate. says what this is, the, this is what the calling we like it to propose or formally enter as a candidate for election or for an honor, right? Or award. This is exactly what we've been. We've been put in position to because the the, the 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 key definition here is that one, but this one really is 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 it just cuts through. A point to a job or position. See that? Specify something formally, typically the date or place for an event. Look, propose or formally enter as a candidate for election or for an honor or award. Propose, put forward, put up, submit. It says present. Then the Lord said, Paul said that he may present us, you know, as chase versions, keyword may. It says, uh, let's see. Yeah, con. Now, I want to get one more in this word. And it says a name. We're going we're gonna to come back to this, so I don't got to do too much. Right, to call or mention by name. So we'll come back to this. Right. So as I go through these, I'm gonna just, I'm gonna just if go through the scriptures. You can see it yourself, and then I'm gonna get the definition. You about okay, Kyle? As you know, Laura Wolf. Strong's G fifteen eighty nine. Strong's G fifteen eighty nine. Again, that comes from the word. This the scripture, First Thessalonians four, uh, one and four. Knowing, right, brethren. Right, beloved, your election of God. It's a purpose. Right? In a BBE. Being conscious, my brothers, dear to God, that ye have been marked out by God's purpose. Right? In the NASB, it says, knowing brothers and sisters, beloved by God. Knowing brother, brothers and sisters, beloved by God, his choice of you, but you haven't been chosen. So that's why I say you can say you've been chosen to be of those that's going to be chosen, right? To possibly be one of those that's going to actually been chosen. You've been chosen out of all the Israelites for those that's going to be chosen, you know, the first reign of the Lord to make it out, you know? Cause your blood, the blood remissed your sins, right? Period. From the, the sins, from the first covenant. But that's a whole nother top. That's the, you know that's that's technically you go into other things. So I'm gonna just stay where we at. So use to use that to get right now. You know. Because in that blood is life. It's a life that you live, you follow. It's a blueprint. You know? DNA. You know? But anyway, man. Um, so again, when you get that word election, 
the act of picking out choosing of the act of God's free will by which before the foundation of the world he declared his blessings to certain persons don't jump to that because again that's different from the word chosen it says the decree which is what this actually comes down to so this chosen is different from the actual chosen right which is the root word here but we'll get there a thing a person chosen all right let me just see if I got more right here. Yep. And that's it. You just been nominated. But we're gonna get we gonna get we gonna get get into it now. So for anchors for example, right? John six and sixty five. I'm gonna actually start at uh I'll just jump to the point and I'll jump up. This is uh John six and sixty Verse 70 Yahweh Shah You see is Jesus Jesus Yahweh Shah Answered them Have not I chosen You twelve And one of you Is a devil See that He was chose But he wasn't chose See that So he These individuals are called He wasn't truly chosen though Look, whole nother word. Strong's G, 1586. Strong's G, 1586. Eclegomai. Eclegomai. Thayer's lexicon. Eclego. Been selected. You know? It says to pick out, choose, to pick out, to pick or choose out for oneself. Choosing one out of many, an example, Yahweh shall choosing his disciples. Look, choosing one for an office. What does that go back to? The word nominate. See that? Oh, look. Nominate. Nominate. Appoint to a job or position. Propose or formally enter as a candidate. So it's, it's safe to say, it's clear to say, propose, if we've been proposed or formally entered as a candidate for election or for an honor or reward, right? Through what? Us being appointed a job or position, which we know you could be fired because this is a business, but that could be taken from you. So it's, it's safe to say you've just been, you know, so you can get that reward. In order to get the reward as the best employee, you got to first be hired. Called to what an interview. You know what I'm saying? Then they hire you. Then you got to be what observed. And then they give you the reward. Employee of the month. Which would be like an to, you know, the full reward, if you will, for example. So the, the process of what uh, working the job would be, you know, being called to the, the, the interview. You know, call, right? And then put in position to work there, which will still be in the process of being called because you're just, your whole motive is to what? Get the reward that comes from this place. But the only way you can be considered, the only way to get there first is, is to be in the process of um, basically one that's just being called for the reward, which would be working. And then so like so anything prior to the reward, right, which which would be again going to interview and then working the job would be what? You basically just be and you've been entered as a candidate for that reward. See? Or election or honor. Possibly. But it comes down to what you do. But it starts with what? Again being first called. Your calling is playing out. Through the process of what your calling to that reward is, you being being is, is playing out through the process of you being invited to that job, hired for the job, and then doing the job. It's playing out through that process. Upon you doing it right, showing the works, the fruits of one that's to get that reward, then you're able to get it. But you first got to get those though. And the etymology to call or mention by name. That's crazy, but that take you to something else further in uh, Revelation 3, which we'll get, Lord willing. We'll come back to that point. It says later, to appoint or designate by name to some office or duty. To propose or formally enter someone's name as 
a candidate for election, which the Lord said what? Matthew 10 and 32, whosoever therefore shall confess me before men, him will I confess also before my father, which is in heaven. See that? So in order to even confess the Lord or have that happen to you, you have to be drew to Yahweh Shah because you got to confess him in order for him to confess you to the father. But that starts by your house, you being called to your house. I look, no man can come on. Let's go back to where we're at. It's the spirit. So you go back to uh, <clears throat> John 6. Check this out. This is John 6 and 64. But there are some of you which believe not, that believe not. For your house, I knew from the beginning who they were that believe not and who should betray him. See that? And that was those that was said to those that was, uh, you know, in the, in, in, in the, in the, in the, you know, the fellowship, you know, the discipleship, if you will, of the Lord. Right. And he said, therefore, said I unto you that no man can come up to me. It's the point. Except it were given unto him of my father. So he meaning that on a further level, like you could be you in front of me, obviously, through the Lord, but it truly really ain't in it. You don't see it through. Cause to really be uh, 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 to really come unto me is to in, in fullness, which is only by the way of the Lord truly, you know. So to really truly have, which you know, the Lord uh, doing that is 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 uh, kind of lost my train of thought, but it's is is it's this it's basically it's the same way, <clears throat> you know. In order to have the Lord. Let me grab that. <clears throat> so jumping up in the same chapter, verse forty-four, he said, "No man can come unto can come to me except the Father, which has sent me, draw him." See that? And I will raise him up at the last day. So if even if you was you brought you was brought before your house, you started following him, you came in or whatever, right? If you don't get raised up at the last day, if you don't if you betray the Lord. You can basically say you what the Lord really didn't draw you, you know. See that? So that would take you back to what you just being nominated, because you wasn't, you didn't actually go on and get the award. You was just nominated. You can't say, and you a person that say they they was um, that that was nominated that they, a person that was nominated can't say they got the award, man. You know, and to get the award. Right to truly get everything is to be drew by your house, get be drew unto your house shot by the Lord, you know. Period. You learned of the Father; it is written in the prophets, and they shall all be taught of God. Everyone that there, therefore that hath heard and hath learned of the Father cometh unto me. Exactly. That's why he kept telling them about Moses. You know? Search the scriptures. Because, cause, uh, you know, you're going to know, okay, all the prophets talked about, you know, and, you know, there's no way to mistake anything. There's no way to mistake what Yahweh Shah is saying because you know it's all back. You know? There's no way for you to think he's a man he isn't if you truly, you know, are learned of the Lord. <laughs> He's not saying nothing the Lord ain't saying. He's not changing. The Lord. He's not trying to tell you the Lord changed when the Lord don't, because the Lord don't change. The Lord will never tell you that. And he he dang sure don't change. You know? Now I'm gonna jump down to the point. This is John 6 and 65 again. And there he said, and, and he said, therefore I said unto you, right? That no man, let's start back at 64, but there be some of you which believe that believe not, yet for your house shall I knew from the beginning who they were that believe not, and who shall betray them, even though they was before him, right? Following them and all that, you know, for however long. And he said, there and he said, therefore I said unto you that no man could come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. Right. Why is he saying this? Because you had men that was offended at the things he was saying. Right, words to the disciples, verse 59. These things said he in the synagogue as he taught in Capernaum. Many therefore of his disciples, when they heard this, said, This is in hard saying, who can hear it? When Yahushua knew himself that his disciples murmured at it, he said unto them, Do this offend you? 
See what and if ye shall see the Son of Man ascend up where he was before, uh, uh, b was before, you know, he it is the spirit that quickened it. The flesh profited nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. He like your flesh not gonna profit you nothing. You sitting here being all carnal and, and, and emotional, you know, they ain't gonna get you nothing. I'm telling you, you know, I'm giving you the word. It's what it is. You offended. Because you in your flesh, you being carnal, right? But there are some of you that believe not. For your house, I knew from the beginning who they were that believed not and who should betray him. And he said, therefore, I said unto you that no man can come unto me except it were given unto him of my father. He's like, look, man, I'm trying to tell you, but y'all think I'm just trying to be an a-hole a or something like that, you know? Period. You know? That's just what it is. Peter's confession, of, Peter's confession of the faith. From that time, many of the disciples went back and walked. Many of his disciples went back and walked no more with him. See that? And you can't be like, okay, this is pre-blood. Pre because this same man, right? Let's read on. Then he said, your house shall unto the twelve. Will ye go also away? Then Peter answered him, Lord, to whom shall we go? Thou hast the words of eternal life. It says, and we, and this is what we believe in. You know, this is what we got to stick with, you know. But anyway, and we believe that and are sure that thou art that Christ, Hamashiach, the son of the living God. Yahweh shall answer them, have I not I chosen you twelve? This is the reason I'm saying this to you. And one of you is a devil. See that? And this man will go on and drink the blood and everything. See that? So what, where are we at, those that are covered by this blood? We're just called. We're nominated. This man was called. He was chosen. Right? He spake of Judas Iscariot, the son of Simon, for it was he, for he it was that should betray him, being one of the twelve. You got the seventy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you ain't got the, you know, the, you know, the many, the, you know, the multitude, you got the hundred four, you know, you got the, well, you got the uh, the five thousand, because again, when you get this word chosen, it's different from the first word. These men were chosen for an office, hence what? Again, they were nominated. Etymology, right? They were nominated. You know. Crazy man. To appoint or designate by name to some office or duty. You was nominated by Yahweh Shah who had the name. Above, above all other names. He had the rep. You know? To do that. That's why you were where you are at. But you ain't chosen. And a lot of us can get that misconstrued. You ain't you ain't this you're not this chosen that it comes down to. Right? Remember this word chosen. This is election. It's different from that word. It's different from that word. That word chosen is gonna be a whole nother word. But ultimately this word comes it, it stems back, it comes down, it's root word to the same actual word because you supposed to be what? In actuality, chosen for an office, right, of God choosing whom he judged fit to receive his favors and separated from the rest of mankind, right? That word that we read, a cloge comes from this same word. Strong's G, 1586. 1586. Eclegomai. 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 Which is the Thayer's lexicon. Thayer's lexicon. Eclego. 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 Which is the word for Eclego. chosen, man. Right? Which again is what? Yahweh Shah choosing his disciples. It's a process. Choosing one for office of God. Choosing whom he he judged fit to receive his favors and separated from the rest of mankind to be to be peculiarly of his own and to be attended continually and to be contended attended continually by his gracious oversight. See that? And the I.E. the example. The Israelites. The Israelites is the Israel of God. 
see, of the of God the Father, Jews and Christians, and Mashiach, and those that follow the Messiah, truly follow him. Not just for a moment, all the way to the end, throughout all the hard sins, throughout all the tribulations. By what? Displaying fruits. Because you just can't say you follow him. You ain't, we ain't just walking with him. You can't just say you bearing your cross because 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 the cross is, is invisible. So what's the proof to show you actually are you know and spiritually bearing your cross? Where's the proof at? It has to be some sort of proof. See that? It says as those whom he set apart from the original irreligious multitude, right? Those that have no belief multitude as dear unto himself and let me read that again as those whom he set apart from the irreligious multitude from the ir irreligious they're not religious multitude they don't believe in the lord they don't have the belief it says as dear unto him because that's the word religious go back to religio but anyway it says as dear unto himself and and whom he has rendered through faith in hamashiach and whom he has rendered through faith in hamashiach citizens in the messianic kingdom. See that? But notice, look, so that the ground of, of the choice lies in Hamashiach and his merits only. See that? But again, whom he has rendered through the faith of Hamashiach citizens in the messianic kingdom. That hasn't happened yet fully. Period. Again, and whom he has rendered through faith in Hamashiach citizens in the messianic kingdom. How do we know that? Because this is not the initial word for the word election. This the word for election is this word. Strong's G fifteen eighty nine. Fifteen eighty nine. Eklage. Which comes down, which don't mean that when you look it up, but it comes down to this word. Strong's G fifteen eighty six. Fifteen eighty six. Eklegamai. 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 Thayer's lexicon. Thayer's lexicon. Eklego. 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 Which is everything Eklego. that I just read. Which is of everything. Which the words that I just read are of. That word. This first word is not that. Ekloge is not that. Why? Because this word election just means calling. But to go ahead and prove this, man. All right. So when you go back, all right, go ahead and wrap this up. Again, you had people that you had, you know, 12 chosen. One was a devil. All right. But moving on, Matthew 22 and 14. For many are called. Why? For many are called. Why? For many are called, because, but few are chosen. See? Many are called, but few are chosen. Because the actual chosen, the reward is... Right, being given hasn't taken place yet. Those being chosen hasn't hasn't happened yet. Only one's chosen is your house shy, you know? And it's through your house shy we're gonna be chosen. Starts by believing in his blood, remissing those sins and living that life that comes through, living through that life that's found in that blood, right? Living through that spirit, that oxygen, that breath. That's in within that blood. Abiding by it. Throughout all it takes you through. Which is the wisdom. You know. So many are called. What's the word called? A completely different word. Strong's G. 2822. Strong's G. 2822. Kletos. 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 Called. Kletos. Invited to a banquet. Fire. Invited by God in the proclamation of the gospel to obtain to obtain eternal salvation in the in king in the kingdom through Hamashiach, called to the discharge of some office, so many offices in the church, in the body, aka the body, which we are called to. See that? We can get into that. You know, divinely selected and appointed. What does that go back to? Brothers and sisters, nominate to call by name, give a name to, name for office, also name for office. 
nominate going back, breaking down into the word nomen, which is name. But it goes on to say later to appoint or designate it by name to some office or duty. To prop so it's that simple, man. It's that plain. It is plain. Many are this. Many have been invited. Right? Many are in the interview. Many are been given a vocation. Right? Of, of divine in the invitation. You go into the, the you know the next the first next root uh root word. So calling. You've only been called a call. To what? A feast. Most not even gonna make it to the feast. Some will say, okay, this, this feast is spiritually going on right now. But yeah, but it's a full it's a it's a it's a it's a it's a full manifestation that's gonna be seen of this uh uh feast, man. That's why he said I'm not gonna drink this wine new with you until I drink it. I'm not I will not I will henceforth not drink of this wine until I what? Drink it new with you in my, in the kingdom. You know? Let me grab that really quick through the spirit. This is a uh, Matthew twenty six and twenty nine. But I say unto you, I will not drink henceforth of this fruit. I will not drink henceforth of this fruit of the vine until that day, I when I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. <sighs> Fire! So it's gonna be an actual feast too. We're gonna actually like, come on, man. The Lord didn't even have like he had a game vinegar to drink. So it ain't just drinking wine spiritually, man. It's a full reward coming, man. The Lord, the Lord lived a life of hell. He had to abstain from everything. We gotta abstain from things now, to the best of our ability. Lord ain't had no goddamn consolation, man. You know. So you've been called to the divine invitation to embrace the salvation. You know, and 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 what you know, counted all joy. You know when you know, you persecuting all these things, because that's a sign that you 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 are in the call. You know when tribulations come, you try all these different things, man. Counted all joy. Don't think it. You know, strange concerning the fiery trial, which is the uh try you. You know, is this some strange thing, you know, is, is, is happening unto you? You know, the next verse, 1 Peter 4 and 13 and verse 12. Beloved, thinking not strange concerning the fiery trials to try you as some as though some strange thing has happened unto you. But rejoice in as much as ye are the partakers of Kamashiach sufferings, that when his glory shall be revealed. Exactly. Ye may be glad also. See that? So that's because that's proof. That's your proof. If ye be reproached for the name of Hamashiach, happy are ye. For the spirit of glory of glory and of God rested upon you. Right? Not the physical part yet. It says, on their part, he is evil spoken of, but on your part, he is glorified. But some don't get that. And, and they mad because they think they should have it all. Now, they leave. They fall out. You know what I'm saying? They stop bringing forth. You know, they think, you know, they think they're the best. So they stop pumping out films and singing the news. They stop doing these things. But letting, you know, they stop, you know, uh, they start being worried and well doing. They stop being a good husband, good wife, a good child. They think there's no profit. That's why the Lord said, depart now the way. It's a process, man. Your, your works will be acknowledged one day, man. You keep putting, you keep bringing the fruit. You bring forth the fruits worthy for such, for, 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 for such, for such an honor. You will, right? It says, but let none of you suffer as a murderer, or as a thief, or as an evildoer, or as a busybody, and other men's matters. Because you're gonna be called things, but you should be called things because you're actually doing things that's off, which will be things like this, things in sin. Yet if any man suffer as a mashiachim, and you know these things put on you for whatever reason. However, through whatever means, you know what I'm saying? But they ought not be true, you know?
you not you ought to just be suffering because you're doing the right thing. Things coming your way, being put upon you, going through things because you have been called. You're being tried now. You know, it says, yet if any man suffers as a Hamashiach uh, or a Christian, as it say, we the real Christians, let him not be ashamed, but let him glorify God on this behalf. <sighs> See that? We're going to be good, bro. We're going to be saved. This is de dealing with the saving. You know? For, you know. For the time has come that judgment must begin at the house of God, and if it first begin at us, what shall it be end of them that obey not the gospel of God? And if the righteous scarcely be saved, see that? Where shall the ungodly and sinner appear? Wherefore, let them that suffer according to the will of God, see that? It's just the process. Commit the keeping of their souls to him in well-doing. So this is why you're going through this, because you ain't been chosen yet. Chosen, acceptable men is, is, is are what? They're chosen in the in the in the in the in the in the um the furnace you know through that what holy spirit the trials of wisdom right Sirach so two and uh acceptable men that are this is this is Sirach so two and uh five for gold is tried in the fire see that let's start at four it says shit, let me start at Slaki excuse the language this is verse 1. It says, My son, if thou come to serve the Lord, prepare thy soul for temptation, set thy heart aright, and constantly endure, and make not haste in time of trouble. Cleave unto him, and depart not away, that thou mayest be increased at thy last end. Whatsoever is brought upon thee, take tearfully, and be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. And be patient when thou art changed to a low estate. Verse 5. For gold is the point. For gold is tried in the fire, and acceptable men in the furnace of adversity. Exactly. You ain't acceptable. Until you go through what the process of, of the process to where you can become acceptable. So the fire is, is the key the point that you in the, the fact that you are in the fire right now, you're dealing with these trials, it proves you ain't chosen yet, man. Because the Lord is not choosing nothing with impurities on it. He gotta know you ain't gonna melt under pressure. You you have to truly be golden. Acceptable men. You know, you can read that in, in, in Revelation 3. All right, so that's why you got to be occupied in the prophecies so you can understand these things. All right, and that's that's just that. So to go ahead and close this out, 1 Timothy 6 and 12, right? Fight the good fight of faith, lay hold on eternal life, whereunto thou art also called. See, whereunto thou art also called and has professed a good profession before many witnesses. Exactly. See that? That's crazy. That's crazy, man. Everybody sees you just bringing forth the fruits. Because you, you got people witnessing for what? That you are worthy of the reward. You know, remember, he that, you know, you came to visit me and, you know, when I was sick and clothed me and you did these different things. So you got to watch. So you you, you got to do good. Be live peacefully with all men, especially them that be of the household of faith. Because that's basically your house shot, man. They witnessing. They moaning and groaning going up as witnessing against you. Like, nah, you ain't, nah. Them like votes. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Come on, bro. This is, uh, so that's that called again. You get that, you get that word called. Look, Kaleo, the same word. Strong's G, 2564. Strong's G, 2564. Kaleo. Kaleo. Oh, no, that actually going to the other part of being nominated. Look, called. It says to invite, right? Same thing to call an example to name, right? By name to give a name to, to be called, to bear a name or title among men. That's crazy to have rep power, right? But you, you've been given a name. See that? That goes into Revelation uh, 3. You've been given a rep of your house. You know him. You know, remember he said in um he said in uh Saint John seven, he said he, he declared his name right unto them. This is John seven and uh, what's that? No, no, it's locked. It's not John seven. John seventeen. Right? It says Yeah, given, he has given eternal life as, as to as many as thou has given him. All right. And uh, 
Yeah, verse 6, John 17 and 6. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. See, out of the world. See, that you, you, you nominated. You got a, the, the nominees. See that? Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept my word. See that? Exactly, man. Because the Lord, he already knew it was going to be traced, or he already knew it was going to make it with you, don't know. Matter of fact, and then there's another instance. Remember the woman asked, he said it is not his to give. Henceforth is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, shall give me at that day. See, that's heavy. That's 2 Timothy 4 and 8. But I mean, this is scripture I want. Matthew 20 and 21. Check this out. It says, preferment acts. Then came to him the mother of Zebedee's children with their, her sons worshiping him and desiring a certain thing of him. And he said unto her, what wilt thou? She said unto him, grant that these two, my, my two sons may sit, the one on thy right hand and the other on the left in thy kingdom. In thy kingdom. Yeah, but Yahweh Shah answered and said, Ye know not what ye ask. Ye is crazy. Are ye able to drink of that cup that I shall drink of? Because that's what it take to get there. And if you ain't went through that, you won't no, you that won't you won't even be there. You know? <laughs> See that? But get to keep going, it says, and to be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with, they say unto him, We are able. See that? And he said unto them, and the Lord went through all. That's why he's chosen now. He's the chosen. He's the elect. His, he's a, the Lord, like the Lord said in Jeremiah, or Isaiah, I believe. It's one of those. He said, he said, mine elect, my holy one. You know, he's talking about Yahweh. Shai. It says, and he said unto him, unto them, ye shall drink. I'm gonna have, probably have to grab that. Ye shall drink of my uh, drink indeed of my cup and be in bat and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. Why? Because they've been called. That's how they were before him. You're going to go through it, but when you make it through it, see that? You of it. You of those in the business. You acknowledged. You're going to, you acknowledge. You know? But will your works remain when we get to sorting through and see, you know? And seeing who, 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 who wait, who, who, who stuff holds up and all throughout all our considerations. Through our moments of eyeing you. And these scenarios, you know, well, who's the best? Oh, yeah, I think he he did great. Yeah, he checks off, off. She checks off. He checks off. He checks off. Yeah, yeah. Now, what about this? Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They definitely can stay. And then I think we can get those. Come on, man. Because we've seen what they did with this film type of stuff, man. You dropping films when you in, mo in moments. That's like a film in itself. What's, you know, you creating a film. That was a great film. How he handled that. How she went about that. How he bounced back from that. How he how he bounced. How she bounced back from that. You know. Then he even came back with a sequel to it. It was beautiful. You know, because it tried him again. You see what I'm saying? <sighs> Come on, bro. It says, but to sit down, but to sit on my right hand. He said, he said, but to sit on my right hand and on my left. He said, let me read it again. And he said unto them, you shall drink a deed. You shall drink a deed of my cup and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with. But to sit on my right hand and on my left is not mine to give. <sighs> Crazy. But it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared of my father. Crazy. And when the ten heard it, they were moved with indignation against the two brethren. That's fire. Fire, man. You know? Because they remember the disciples always fire. Who's going to be the greatest in the kingdom? So men don't know, man. You know, we can read and go, okay, yeah, they was of the elect. You know, they clearly chosen, but they didn't, they weren't getting it, man. You know? There's so many scriptures I can grab, it's crazy. In the NLT, how was I told them you will indeed and drink from my bitter cup, but I have no right to say who will sit on my right or left. Right? My father has prepared those places for the ones he has chosen. See? That's crazy. He already knew. But it wasn't his to say. 
Because it's not supposed to be told yet. You ain't chosen. And then however you want to look at it. But that those things is for those that's chosen. Once that chosen is take, taking place, those things are going to be given out. Once those once that time comes to where those things is being given out, those spots is being given out, those places are being given out. So until then, you ain't, you don't know. You got to go through what you got to go through to get through it, which is the process. Man, it's just so good, man. You know? So I ain't going to overdo it, man. For Ephesians 4 and 4. There is one, there is one body and one spirit. Even as ye are called, even as ye are called in one hope, called where? In one hope of your calling. Why is it a hope? Why are you, you called in hope of your calling? You know, you give, you've been given that you got this hope because you was called. So that's, you, you start right there. But then why are you hoping? Because you're expecting, right? You're expecting Good and evil, right? But it's upon if you sow, right? You can only expect if you sow because you reap what you sow. So that's exactly what you expect, you know? But we, we, but we still have to pray that we're worthy. You know what I'm saying? That it's worthy. It's worthy fruit because... What you sowing, right, might not reap grapes that the Lord wants to pluck that's meat fit for the master's use. Because remember, do men gather, you know, grapes of thorns, figs of thistles? No. So you got to watch the type of fruit. Everybody bringing for a fruit, but is it good fruit? Everybody bringing for grapes, but is it grape grapes with the new wine in it? You see that? So all that's why we have to hope. That is to the to the master's liking. Matthew 7. And uh, just the gravity. So you can see these for yourself. Right. Verse 17. You shall know them by their fruits. Uh, verse 16. It says. You shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather. Thorn, gather, gather. Right. The grapes of thorns. Or figs of thistles. Nah. The angels not going to gather that man. You know. Even so. Every good tree bringing forth good fruit. Fruit. But a corrupt tree bringing for a uh, 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 e evil fruit, you know. You gonna watch the works you pick up, the tendencies you pick up, the ways you pick up, you know. That people putting down. But anyway, we read this again. Read no, a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit. Every tree is bring that bring it forth not good good fruit. Is hewn down and cast into the fire. Wherefore, by their fruits ye shall know them. Exactly. The Lord not gathering grapes. Um, that's not. You know. Meat. They got to be grapes that got that new wine in it. This is Isaiah 65 and 8. Thus said the Lord. As the new wine is found in the cluster. Right. Which the elect. And one said destroy it not. You know. All those that go on to be honored, you know. It's like the the, the uh, it's a corruptible crown example again, but like the Heisman Trophy, the Heisman winner for those that know about college football. It'd be like unto how it's one individual that get the award per year, but everyone has a chance to get in, if you will. You see what I'm saying, like. When the time is there, they just got to be in the right place at the right time. It's like this, though. Like, one, only one man can go down there at once. Everybody can't win the award for, you know, the night. Make you come back, you know. But, but, but my point is, I'm trying to show that collectively, all these men that win it individually, that go on and get the victory, these believers, these sisters, these families, these children, they will be likened unto the clusters. Every person that put forth work and won the award, they won all. Oh, yeah, he won the Heisman. Ricky Williams won the Heisman. Reggie Bush won the Heisman. So forth and so on. RG3 run the Heisman. You know what I'm saying? 
But again, my point of getting this is to show the Lord says, destroy it not for it is a blessing and it. So will I do for my servant's sake that I may not destroy them all. So he's only gathering those that are actually bringing forth what? Fruit, grapes that he wants to pluck and save and keep. That's why you're hoping, you know, that's why you're, 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 you're called to into a hope. You've been nominated. You hoping when you nominated, you went. See that? Last scripture. For even, this is 1 Peter 2, 2 and 21. Right, for even unto where you, you were ye called, you know? And if uh you don't believe that, you can actually go back to that right scripture. Hopefully I can get it. Let's go here. Yeah, right here. Twelve and two, first Thessalonians. First Thessalonians two and twelve, I'm sorry. That ye will walk, that ye walk worthy. See that? And as ye know how we exhorted and comforted and charged everyone you uh, every one of you, see that as a father do his children, right? Because you know, know ye not that many running away, but only one man received the prize. See that? It says that ye that don't mean out of everybody that's called right now, only one person gonna make it out. This is a you know figure of speech, but it says that ye will walk worthy. See that? And run in the way that ye may obtain. That ye will walk worthy. See that? Of God. Because every walk, even though you might be in the faith, is not one that's worthy of acknowledging. Your work kind of like, your work, your walk is kind of, hence your work, right? Your walk is kind of like slothful. It's not, uh, he's not lively. It's off tune. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not right. It says, who hath called you? See? That ye walk worthy of God. See that? Who hath called you in unto. See? Unto. You're not there yet. His kingdom and glory. How? Because the Lord ain't drinking that wine with you. How he say he would. He ain't sipping wine only in your mind with you. Something. He gonna do that full. Fully. Again, I can go on and on. First Peter two and twenty one. For even unto here unto were ye called, because Hamashiach going back to that prayer that ye are worthy. See that, right? I ain't keeping this. It, I don't like how this go. Break it down. Yeah, it's too many. Yeah, nah. See that? It says for even unto you in that process, man. You only called. You've been called to be checked out to to, to be be of be be of gold to be gold. Some of the world gonna wear. So you got to uphold, get rid of impurities, and, and be able to withstand that fire, man, if you want the reward. Hence, you want to be elected, chosen, eclectos, right? For here, even unto in the fullness, the, the, the actual sense of it, it says, for even unto, here unto were ye called. See, for here, for even here unto were ye called. Were ye called? Were ye called? Call goes into being invited. Everybody that's invited not coming in. This man came in or they ain't staying. How are you going to look at it? Not having a wedding garment on. And the man, the Lord came up to him and asked him, Sir, how came ye in here not having a wedding garment on? Well, first he was called. But clearly he ain't chosen to be here. And he was speechless. You know what I'm saying? So for here, for even here unto were ye called, because Hamashiach also suffered for us, leaving us an example that you that ye should for follow his his steps. See, that's that's the blood, that's the life, because Christ has also suffered for us, leaving us an example. Where was the example seen at? in his life? His bloodshed. He suffered for us. He shed his blood, which allowed us to receive of it, take it up. He poured it out for us to receive it for what it actually was. It contained a life that's supposed to become now the life that rules over your flesh. You see what I'm saying? That, you know. 
And it's in your mind, it's in your bowels, your stomach, your mind. You meditating on that. Your ear trying that. Receiving his life is receiving his blood, man. The point of shedding his blood. That's all that. That you should follow his steps. So you was called again. Now the only other mention, right? Where this this because I was only in here. The only other mention where you can get uh, uh, someone mistaken us being chosen is when you go to Revelation 17 when it deals with the victory for the Lamb. It's the only place you can find this. It says, but it ain't nowhere else. And you got to establish every matter by two or three witnesses, right? These that shall make war with the Lamb. These shall make war with the Lamb. This is verse seven, verse 14 in the 17th chapter of Revelation, right? These shall make war with the Lamb, and the Lamb shall overcome them. This is when the Lord come back and he fight. For he is Lord, for he is the Lord, he is Lord of Lords. They say he's gonna wear many crowns, he's gonna wound the head over many countries. The Lord is not coming to play. These people coming out of power. That's physically gonna happen. It says, For he is Lord of Lords, King, King of Kings. Daniel seen that statue going down, which is a collection of physical empires that are rule. It said he seen a, a stone. That came and took all and took that statue down. So that means it's something that's going to come was represented Yahweh Shah, that rock that's going to take care, take down the existence, the history, the, the, the memory, right? The acknowledgement of all these kingdoms that ever ruled these empires, these heathen empires, they're going down. And it will be one that he will come take down while it's still in process, while it's divided and, and at the end of is 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 is. It even being able to be around. And that's the feet, the ten toes of iron and miry clay. Rome 2.0, America. The Lord will come back during America if it's ruling. Think about that. So that's why you have to understand these things and do what you need to do. Be how you need to be. But anyway, for he is Lord of Lords and King of Kings. And they that are with him are called and chosen. And faithful. This is talking about when he come back. So we know these are people that were asleep. Right? Who the Lord brought that raised first. And met him with the, in the air. When? When he came back. First Thessalonians 4. And then you can even go. And that's that. That died in the Lord. That finished their course. First, this is Revelation 9 and four, uh, 14. How do we know this? It says what? And the and the armies which were in heaven followed him upon white horses. See that? That's the angels and everybody. White horses, purity, and clothing, clothing fine linen, white and clean. Now when you go to Revelation 3, I believe that is, and you jump down to verse. Oh yeah. Verse he said uh, right here. Verse let's start at verse four. Thou has a few names and sardis which have not defiled their garments. Right? Because he write this is a letter through the spirit the Lord is given to be read to a church in Sardis. Right? Right, which have not defiled their garments, and they shall walk with me in white. See that? For they are worthy. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white. That process still going on, because that word overcometh is. We'll get to that another time, right? And I will blot his name out of the book of life, but I will confess. And I will look, and I will not blot his name out of the book of life, but I will confess his name before my father and before his angels. Exactly. So these individuals are people who already unfinished their course. They finished. That's the only time you get white. He that overcome it, you're gonna be clothed in white. So if you're still in the process of overcoming, which deals with enduring. You're not, it ain't over with. Because again, these people are having defiled their garments, right? They ain't naked, but they ain't got the white robes yet. How do we know that? 
Because it says, and they shall walk with me in white. They ain't, that ain't happened yet. Because it's not over with. For they are worthy. He's watching their walk. So they got to go on to get that by what? Overcoming. And then he said, that's why I said the next verse. He said the next statement. He that overcometh the same shall be clothed in white, white raiment. So you got to overcome. Just because you ain't defiled your garments yet, it ain't over with. You got to finish. So yeah, that's basically it, man. So when you again go back to that dang Re uh, Revelation 19 and 14, and the armies w w which were in heaven follow him upon white horses, clothed in fine linen, white and clean. The only people that could be would be people who overcame, which would be because which would be who those that sleep, you know, Re Revelation 17 and 14. And I was just in here, man. Lord want everybody got some out of this. Revelation, 1 Thessalonians 4 and 16. It says, the Lord, yeah, I'm going to start at 15. It says, you know, let me start at uh, 15. Those who died in Christ. Amashiach, but I will not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that ye sorrow not even as others which have no hope. See, which have no hope, right? Which have no hope. It says, for we, if we believe that Yahweh Shah died and rose again, even so them which are also with sleep in, in Yahweh Shah will God bring with him. See, that's them. It says, for this we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain until, right? Because you want to pray that you are ready to escape and, st and stand because you can go to sleep. You want to you want to be here, stand all the way before when the Lord come back during America, man, and that's going to happen. That's a key. mark my words, mark the words. I, I I guarantee you through the Spirit, the Lord will be back during America, ruler. I'm telling you, that's what Daniel seen, man. That's what's going to happen. It says what? It says that we which are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them. Which are asleep. What that mean? For the Lord himself shall this, this, uh, uh, descend from heaven. Right? Crack the clouds. Crack the skies. They say. They say with a shout. With the voice of the archangel. That's Michael. And with the trump of the God. and Because he's the, he's the leader of the armies that's coming back. Right? And with the trump of God. And the dead in Hamashiach shall rise first. They're going to go up there first. And they're going to be up there with, the, with that white raiment. And it says, then we which are alive and remain shall be caught to get up together with them in the clouds. See, then post that happening to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we be with ever with the Lord. So that's even if you would, even if you use that to add to that, that can only happen when the Lord coming back. And that's because you that's the point when you if you get beamed up with the Lord, you with the Lord. Right. Hence, upon him coming back, because you didn't survive all the way to the end, you wouldn't get that right raiment, and hence it wouldn't be over until he come back. You know, however it happened, like how quick, how soon the sprogis, I don't know. How soon the beaming up happens after, I don't know. You know. But the Lord said he going to keep men that what? Kept his patience. All right. So, yeah, I'm going to end that there. So, yeah, that's the only way you can get that read on somebody being chosen. Besides that, you called, man. So, you're not going to proceed. When you get that word, uh, prevent, uh, precede. Let's get that word, precede. Uh. Right here. Precede. Come before. Precede. No, we're not going to do that out of order. You're not going to come in before in order or position. Go in front of or ahead. They coming back first. So the first people you're going to see coming with the Lord uh, on those ships. You know, the of those with those armies that got white horses on. You know. White and clean is going to be all the angels and those that the other angels, man. The brothers and sisters that died in the Lord, man. 
can mark your mark. Uh, but, 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 uh, you can mark, hey, you can mark it, man. You know, and they that are with him. See that? Are called, chosen, and faithful. Call along like how about me out of shower, how a cock Oh, and I gotta get this. Because I said I was gonna come back here. Call along with Yahweh Boss Man Shop and give me the spirit. He said, What? This is uh, Revelation 3. And uh, he said, What? This is uh, verse 12. It says, he, Him that overcometh will I make a pillar in the temple of my God, and he shall go out no more. And I will write the, upon him the name of my God. Upon him the name of my God. The rep and the name of the city of my God. You new Jerusalem, which is new Jerusalem, which coming down out of heaven from my God, right, which is within us, which is the people before us a place, and I will write and I will write upon him my new name. You know? You you got what the Lord got. Hence, you no longer nominated, right? In the initial sense. But you're chosen. You finish the nomination. Hence. Nominate. To call or mention by name. To name. Call by name. To give a, give a name to. You nominated right now. So the process of getting the reward is by first being nominated. Call on my out, boss me out, shot. Shut up.